one-legged man has become the first amputee to successfully swim the Cook Strait. Italian long-distance swimmer Salvatore Cimino completed the 26-kilometre journey in just over eight hours. Laura Frickberg reports. A warm reception after a long cold swim, eight hours and 18 minutes in fact, in water that barely got above 10 degrees. God has given me a great help together with the many children and the young people uh, who are disabled like me and uh, who encourage me to go ahead. Cimino started his swim in Makara Beach and arrived in Pirano Bay at the top of the Marlborough Sounds. Not only is once full, he's off to the Congo to inspire other amputees. Laura Freckberg, 3 News. Is he the first amputee to swim the strait? He's the only person to ever brave the cold October waters. His mentors impressed. Um, well, me mentally he's had to swim for, for 8 hours, 18 minutes without you know, stopping for very small periods for food. Um, but it had been incredibly cold. As he was talking about coming back, he said every, every hour he'd be getting an, you know, like we call an ice cream headache. A cancerous tumour forced Chimino's leg to be amputated at 15. He hopes his success will inspire others. Salvatore swum the strait faster than the first man and woman to do it back in the 60s. And if he does it again in five years' time and makes the same time, he'll beat the oldest person to ever swim the Cook Strait. That, uh, now I'm going to eat a uh, few, few kilos of pasta. <laughs> Salvatore Cimino never used to swim. He was 40 before he took it up on medical advice. He'd had his leg amputated to remove a cancerous tumour when he was just 15. After many, many years walking uh, with an artificial leg, La schiena si usura a tal punto che non ti sostiene più. my back couldn't anymore keep me straight. Swimming has changed his life. Cimino is swimming around the world to raise awareness of disabilities and to encourage others to strive beyond their limitations. What I'm trying to do is to build bridges uh, between uh, people like me who are disabled and uh, people uh, instead who are uh, able-bodied. The idea of conquering the Cook Strait came from friend and former All Black John Kerwin, who also lives in Italy. It's relatively dangerous, but he's just an incredibly emotional and courageous man, and I'm sure he'll make it. But the conditions at this time of year are less than ideal. He's the first person to ever attempt the crossing in October. The problem is the water temperature is unlikely to get above 10 degrees. You know, there are some, some, some dangers out there, and the major danger at this point is hypothermia. 80 people have swum the Cook Strait since 1963. Rush says three times as many have tried and failed. It is still one of the hardest pieces of water to cross um, by swimming in the world. Chimino's hoping to attempt the crossing in the next few days, but that will depend on the weather. They're hoping for a calm day that delivers a bit of warm sun on his back. Emma Jolliffe, 3 News.